Hi guys and welcome to my honest review of BenQ's 4K monitor, the SW320. So why am I reviewing this monitor? Well, I've been a professional photographer for nearly 20 years. I have a fairly large studio based in West Yorkshire. Within the team here, we specialize in commercial photography, portrait and wedding photography, and also myself personally, I'm heavily involved in landscape photography, and I'm heavily involved in landscape photography through my YouTube channel. I just want to be completely honest with you guys and transparent as to the reasons why I'm currently reviewing the BenQ SW320. <laughs> we create 4K videos in-house for clients. I'm also about to start creating more 4K content for my YouTube channel. And because of this, I contacted BenQ. I looked at reviews online for various 4K monitors and I saw this one came out pretty much on top. So. Because of that, and through the strength of my YouTube channel, I contacted BenQ very cheekily, but they graciously offered to give me this monitor in return for an honest review on my YouTube channel. I shoot more and more and more in 4K, especially for the commercial um, side of the business. And what I am used to doing, I'm used to spending some good money on monitors. I have a rival company monitor. We have four of them within, within the company. I normally have two of this particular TFT, sat side by side here and this is pretty much my workspace um, we have uh, another one on the desk next to me there and uh, a fourth one on a desk over there as well and it's really important for me that through calibration all of them are exactly the same all of them are identical so the point i'm making is these are 27 inch screens i'm used to using big screens and i'm used to spending strong money on very very good monitors okay let's get down to the nitty-gritty of the monitor well first and foremost it's a benq sw320 that's model number it's a 31 and a half inch 4k monitor with a 16 by 9 ratio the resolution is 3840 by 2160 and just to give you an idea of the, the actual pixels that you're seeing the monitor that i'm currently using is 2560 by 1440 so you can see there's a massive difference there to begin with the monitor itself is an ips panel running at 60 hertz and of course the advantage with that is it gives you a much greater viewing angle and without loss or distortion of picture and i must admit that side of it really really is good also it comes with a, lo with a lovely hood so you get a, a hood all contained within the box as well and that's really good i would never use the hood or certainly wouldn't use the hood working from where i am at the moment the office space that we're currently in is a huge office space but i took myself in the corner and that's where i prefer to work so really i don't have any issues with overhead lighting or lighting from behind we have windows behind but they have blinds on so i turn them up so as far as the screen is concerned <clears throat> it's a very matte looking screen and i wouldn't have it any other way i really wouldn't i wouldn't have a glossy screen we do have glossy screens i've used glossy screens in the past but certainly um no not for post-processing matte there's actually quite a nice addition to this screen here on the bottom of the screen there there's a small usb device the usb is actually connected into the back of the monitor and it's basically just for shortcuts it's called a puck for obvious reasons and i quite like this because it means i can change the color profiles of the screen without having to go through the menu system which can be quite you know long and laborious if i simply press number one then the color profile is straight to adobe rgb 99 percent i think the correct tech spec of that is but adobe rgb if i press number two it changes the profile there to srgb i've also got black and white in there as well but you can program it to do various things we only use rgb in the studio so uh, but nevertheless it's quite a neat little touch on top of that you can actually split the screen down as well so one half will show srgb the other half will show rgb so you can make a comparison between them both and that i think is quite a nice touch 
Okay, so the question I know you're going to be asking is, how on earth have I road tested it? Well, that's simple really, because there's only one way to road test anything, and that's to put it in its, its, its working environment. So what I mean by that is, like I said earlier, I normally work with two screens side by side. Just over a month ago, I received this monitor from BenQ. So the first thing I did is I unboxed it. Again, there's no point just unboxing it, plugging it in, looking at it, thinking, yeah, that's nice. Let's make a review video, put it online, and move on because that's not what that's not what I want to do so I simply took away one monitor and put this monitor in its place because this is my working environment two screens so for the past four weeks pretty much on a daily basis I've been sat here post-processing work both mine and from the guys in the studio as well and a whole variety of work on there so it's pretty much been put through its paces and the one thing I will say which is the same comments has been passed by everybody that works in the studio is how fantastic this monitor looks. The colors are very, very rich. The blacks, are, the blacks are super black. The whites are very white. So the contrast between them both is just exceptional. The screen itself, I mean, look at that for a black and white image there now, it's just gorgeous. The screen itself is very sharp, which is, is really weird because I'm used to using a 27 inch screen and I'm sat further away and I'm, this is a 31 and a half inch screen and I'm sat closer to it. There's no distortion whatsoever. From corner to corner, it appears to me to be pixel perfect. And, and really as a photographer, what more? What more do you want from your screen? The only slight drawback now is, I very much doubt I'll be able to blag another one from BenQ. So that means now I'm gonna have to buy a second one. Um, and just as a follow-up from that as well is I have used this monitor uh, in 4k we've done uh, we've created a couple of 4k videos this month for clients and obviously the intention is to create more and more and more I'm gonna start creating 4k videos when I'm out and about with my landscape photography as well so I'm gonna be using it more and more and more in 4k so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna make a follow-up video and just concentrate more on the 4K aspect of the monitor. Like I say, I've used it in 4K and it looks absolutely delightful, especially in 4K. Between the two monitors, they are completely chalk and cheese. They really are. Um, so that's it. In conclusion, it gets a massive thumbs up from me and from everybody else in the studio. I mean, it's just, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous screen. Rich, rich colors. And that's, that's all I want. Thanks a lot for sticking with this review till the end and hopefully you guys have got something from it, but go buy it. I guarantee you'll, you'll not be disappointed. You really won't. And I just want to take this opportunity as well to thank BenQ for, I suppose, really trusting me and giving me the opportunity to review this monitor. So thanks to those guys as well. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and all the rest of it. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.